I'm Dr. Jake Veazey of Care for the Rare and uh, I'm here talking to Kim Wilkins from Yorkshire Wildlife Park about the research that we've undertaken together mm -hmm. with experts from around the world looking into the, the welfare priorities of polar bears and essentially what we need to help ensure that we can maintain happy, safe uh, populations of polar bears long into the future. We had 35, 36 people from eight different countries around the world, so big representation from uh, Canada in particular, which is home to two thirds of the world's uh, polar bear population. And it was a mix of field biologists, so people who work with polar bears in the wild, uh, welfare scientists, and you know people from the, the, the zoo and wildlife park community. I think this is groundbreaking um, area for research with captive polar bears and, and it's brilliant to, to be at the forefront of that off the back of the study. The things that we discovered that were really important for polar bears is having a reason to walk and it's the same with swimming. It's not just recreational, it's having a purpose behind that and, and linked to all of these, uh, these elements is choice and control. Too often we solve problems for animals in captivity. The, the key in the next step to you know optimum welfare for animals like this is providing them opportunities in which they can solve their own problems. Taking part in this research has been really a, a privileged position really also because we're one of the largest holders of polar bears in, in the world and one of the most experienced and so it was really important that we could put our voice across but also that we can utilize this research to improve even more and my hope is that particularly the legislative authorities, will look at the recommendations of this report, some of which are quite groundbreaking, and actually use that to improve welfare legislation across the world. Why polar bears are at particular risk is we can't protect the species from the impacts of climate change in a way that we can fence off a national park and protect it from poachers. So it's really important to have that captive population as an insurance against extinction in the wild and, and crucially obviously understanding the needs of those animals uh, in captivity is, is a fundamental building block to an, an ethical conservation strategy. This research is about understanding the psychological needs of polar bears to ensure that you know we can maintain the highest standards of care. And it's really important for polar bears because there are species that face a double jeopardy. They're at risk of extinction in the wild due to climate change, but they also are historically prone to welfare challenges in captivity. So if we want to provide a long-term ethical future for, for polar bears, we need to understand what it takes to, to maintain the highest possible standards of care.